So now we're going to do a couple of more conditional probability problems. And with conditional probability, we always want to look for the and part and then just the, uh, the, the event A part in our problem. So a biology teacher gave her students two tests. The probability that a student received a score of 90% or above on both tests is 1 tenth. The probability that a student received a score of 90% or above on the first test is 1 fifth. The probability that a student received a score of 90% above on the second is 1 half. What is the probability that a student who received a score of 90% or above on the first test also received a score of 90% or above on the second test? So we want to know what is the probability of you getting a score of 90% on the first test um, and a 90% on the second test. So this is just compound probability, um, I believe. What is the probability that a student received a also received a score, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, this is a uh, conditional probability, it's not compound. It's just kind of confusing how it's worded. So the probability that we get a 90 on the first test given that we got a 90 on the second test. So we wanna take the probability of both, which is 1 tenth, divided by the probability that we got a 90 on the second test, which is 1 half. Now, when we divide by a fraction, we can just multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same as 1 tenth times 2 over 1, which would give me 2 over 10, which would give me 1 fifth. Our scoring 90% above on the first test and scoring 90% above on the second test independent or dependent events. So these would actually be independent events. And the reason why they are independent events is because your scores on each test don't depend on each other. So you can make an A on your first test and not make an A on the second test or vice versa, or you can make an A on both tests. They're completely independent. Question number two, the probability of a positive test for a disease and actually having the disease is one out of 4,000. The probability of a positive test is 1 out of 3,000. 70 out of 100 people have the disease. What is the probability of actually having the disease given a positive test? So the probability that we have the disease given that we have a positive test, we're going to take the probability of both, of the and, which is 1 out of 4,000, and that's going to be over the probability of having a positive test, which is 1 out of 3,000. Again, that's multiplying by the reciprocal. And so when we multiply this together, we get 3,000 out of 4,000, which just reduces down to 3 out of 4. Are testing positive for the disease and having the disease independent events? Explain your reasoning. So if we think about this, if we test positive for the disease and having the disease independent events, I would think that they would probably be dependent. I don't think typically you would test positive for a disease if you didn't actually have the disease. So this can kind of be confusing. We have one more example here to go through. A basketball player makes two out of three free throws 49% of the time. She makes 70% of her free throws. What is the probability she will make the second free throw after making the first? So the probability that we will make the second free throw given that she made the first Let's see here, she makes two out of three free throws 49% of the time. Uh, she makes 70% of her free throws. So this one's actually a little bit confusing. I don't think any of the questions on your assignments are gonna be this ambiguous. Uh, the probability that we make our first free throw, let's say, Hmm, I actually am not really sure about this one. 
Um, so I, I'm not really sure. This one's kind of confusing the way the wording is. This makes it a little bit harder to solve. Let's look at B. Are making the first free throw and making the second free throw independent or dependent events? I would definitely say those are independent. It does not matter if we make the first free throw. That does not change our, our probability of making the second. 